Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So as the as the part of the extension of the discussion which we are having on top of AWS certifications, this is the next video in the series. Uh, here we are going to discuss about AWS certified cloud practitioner exam. So uh, as as my plan, what I am planning to do is like uh, I am planning to take various different uh, sessions or various different video courses for this exam so as the part of the introduction uh, i am taking this video it is like we are going to discuss about uh, the aws certified cloud practitioner exam so the exam blueprint and all these things so i would recommend you people to watch my previous videos about the aws uh, certifications what are all the various aws certifications available and how the aws scoring works and what are all the passing percentage for individual exams so if you are interested to take the cloud practitioner exam this will be be the introduction video for you people i will add the videos uh, the previous videos in the description of this video so that you can refer to those videos as well so without further ado let's start so in this video as i already told we are going to discuss about uh, the exam guide predominantly I, I am trying to focus on the exam guide of aws certified cloud practitioner exam so we are going to uh, cut loose it is like we are going to analyze we are we are going to understand what is mentioned over there in the exam guide of the aws certified cloud practitioner so it is an very well preparation since uh, we are we are planning to attempt the exam we are planning to prepare for this exam so first we need to understand what is required and what is the aws recommendation and what is the aws demand for this exam right so to start with it is like uh, what are all the things you expect as the part of this exam right these are all the things which are uh, which are expected as the part of the exam so let me it is like uh, as you all know it is like it is going to be a pass or fail exam either you will get a pass or you will get a fail you know that it's like it is going to be 65 questions in the exam it is going to be multiple choice or multiple response so multiple choice or multiple response in the sense you will be having the question with the answers with radio buttons and also with check boxes so multiple choice it is going to be radio button so you need to select only one correct response out of the three or four responses uh, find the answers you need to select only one response that is one way of questions one type of question and the other questions will be checkbox checkbox questions which means like you need to answer two or more correct responses so they will mention that in the bracket it is like in the question answer two answer three like that they will mention in the bracket so based on that you need to select two answers or three answers based uh, based on the given question so there are two types of questions which you can expect in the exam one is the multiple choice which is the radio button and multiple response it is going to be checkbox type of an questions and it is like uh, how the how the exam can be taken it is like you can take the exam in the testing center or via pro online proctoring the, we discussed in an extensive way about all these things it's like psi and psn are the two vendors by which you can give the exam so either you can uh, give your exam on the exam center or you can give the exam on the comfort of the home using your laptop and other thing but you will be in a complete online proctoring mode so one online proctor will be completely listening to you so you need to see See the screen always they will uh, they will monitor all your activities and all if you do any malpractices or something like that then they will simply they will close your exam and everything will be lost so uh, there are two options testing center option and online proctored options this this again we know this this stuff it is like it's going to be a 90 minutes exam so almost uh, almost around 1 hour and 30 minutes of time will be given to you you if you are from a non native english speaking nations you will be having an additional option of getting the 30 minutes extra that we discussed uh, in the previous videos i would recommend if you if you need more clarification on those areas i would recommend you to watch the previous videos and then what is the cost which is getting involved in the exam it is going to be 100 usd is the cost which is going to be involved so if you are taking this exam as a second exam or third exam you can very will make use of the 50 percentage exam discount which we discussed in our previous videos but if this is going to be your first exam you need to pay this 100 usd from our pocket so that's the cost involved and there is a practice exam is also available over there you, we need to pay 20 usd for that exam if you are interested to take the practice exam usually uh, i used to take practice exams it is like in order to check my understanding check my knowledge on the specific areas so it will be similar it is a uh, smaller version of the original exam so 
that you will be tested under different categories different domains which is mentioned in the exam guide so based on that uh, you will get the questions minimal number of questions say like 10 to 20 questions will be there you need to answer that within this stipulated time frame it is similar it's exactly same like the original exam so that you will practice yourself and you can understand where you are if you get an quite decent percentage of marks or something like more than 80 percent or 90 percent on the practice exam you are prepared it is like you are very well equipped to sit for the main exam so that's how the practice exam is all about again it is all up to you to decide upon uh, whether you are going to write it or not and what are all the language in which these things are available predominantly people used to choose english and it is available in all these languages as well so what is the passing percentage for the exam as we all know it is like uh, in my previous video i had mentioned aws uses an interesting method of scoring the exams which is called as a scaled scoring method so uh, i recommend you to watch that video to understand this and it is like you need to score almost around 700 out of 1000 so al almost around 70 percentage is, is it's a uh, lateral uh, mathematics calculation but it's not exactly 70 percentage it depends upon the graded scaling method so these are all the things which you need to know about the exam before before start preparing for the exam right these are all some fundamental mechanics you need to know about in the what are all the exam stuff what you expect and what are all the things what are all the parameters about the exam right so coming to the next topic here we are going to extensively discuss upon the exam guide so i had gone through the exam guide and uh, i i am taking you through some of the basic things which are there in the exam guide right so what aws climbing uh, in the exam guide it is all about it validates the examinee's ability on these areas so let us let us slowly go through each each one of it explain the value of aws cloud this is a very generic common term right so it's, uh, we need to understand understand about AWS cloud we need to know what is AWS cloud and what are all the various offerings from AWS cloud all these things we need to know we need to know about AWS cloud and uh, and how AWS is performing with their competitors like Azure and GCP and uh, fundamental mechanics about the AWS cloud that's what this point uh, they are trying to iterate here understand and explain the AWS shared responsibility model this is quite interesting stuff so it is like uh, there is a shared responsibility model from AWS uh, this is not the right video to talk about in depth about that i am planning to uh, release another video regarding this topic alone so aws shared responsibility model is uh, is a type of the model which you need to understand what aws how the aws is taking the responsibility it is like responsibility of the cloud and responsibility in the cloud so who is responsible for what all these details we need to understand about the aws shared responsibility model and we need to understand about cloud security best practices uh, this is again one more important topic actually so we need to understand about cloud security how we can securely create an applications on top of cloud how you can securely create an vpc how you can securely store your secrets a lot of things are there security is one big concept basically so there are a lot of aws services which deals about the cloud security so that's that's one important thing you need to know and again other thing understand aws cloud cost economics and billing practices so this is quite interesting so it is like we need to know how the billing works in aws actually so it's, it's a pay as you go pricing is the is the simplistic way of uh, iterating the cloud pricing models so we need to know we need to understand what is the cloud cost or how the costs are getting billed how what is the expected cost there is something called aws billing calculator is there that's there is an online uh, thing which is available so you can simply you can calculate your cost over there so we will deep dive into all these areas later so and then describe the position of aws core services core aws services including compute networking database and storage so this is very very good term right so we need to understand about all these things uh, how mechanics of aws compute starting from ec2 and then starting from containers ecs eks and all these things serverless compute like lambda all these things we need to understand about the compute and then we need to understand about the networking services predominantly networking it, it takes about vpc how you can design your vpc how you can design your ciders and all these things that too in a very very uh, it's a high level it is like this exam is designed for an uh, uh, for the business people and other other stuff so 
there is there is nothing much deeper over there you need to understand about the basic concepts of networking you need to understand about various databases what are all the various database offerings it's like aws rds dynamo db document db qldb time stream neptune lot of your database services are there in aws you need to understand each and everything their specific use cases and we need to understand about the storage it's, it's all about aws s3 efs and all these things we need to understand how the data is getting stored in aws so these the understanding in all these areas are very much required and understanding the core aws services this is this is very generic term core aws services means there are a lot of core aws services are there so some basic understanding towards the aws is required identify aws services for common use cases this is again one more generic term right so we need to know aws to some extent we need to understand we need to know aws to some extent what are all the basic services which we can use in aws to accompany our uh, our regular work uh, say starting from queuing starting from uh, notification starting from alerting starting from monitoring lot of things are there right so for for all those use cases what are all the various aws services are getting used we need to understand about those areas as well right and what is the recommended aws knowledge which they are demanding they are telling uh, it's like we already saw this thing so minimum of 6 months of experience on aws is required any person any person can take up this exam it is like uh, starting from project managers it managers sales managers decision makers marketers as well as in finance procurement and legal departments so what what they are trying to say here this exam is all about knowing the aws at a very very high level view so that's what they are trying to uh, trying to say with these statements over in here so it is all about managers managers are not technical deep dive persons so it is like they 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 need to know what aws is they need to understand what aws is so this exam is designed for those type of personnel actually so it's an ideal starting point right uh, it's a, for a, for a beginner with the aws this is the ideal starting point so this is the good exam to take for a beginner right so and now we are going to deal about we are going to see about the different Uh, technical constraints which are mentioned in the exam guide so if you can see these are all the things this is how the exam is defined in the exam guide so they they what they mentioned it is they it is going to be four domains over there cloud concepts security compliance technology billing and pricing same thing we we discussed in the previous slide right so they they had separated that as the part of four domains so we are expecting this much so let's do some simple math and we can do something so what they are trying to say is 26 percentage of 65 questions is uh, is going to be on cloud concepts if if you do simple math it is like it is coming close to 16.9 so we can expect somewhat around uh, 16 to 17 questions in this area actually so out of 65 questions you can expect 16 to 17 and similarly if you do security and compliance it is going to come around um, 25 percentage again if you do simple math it will come close to 16.25 so again it is going to be uh, another uh, 16 to 17 questions in this area in the second area as well we can expect somewhat around 16 to 17 questions so and then if you can see the third portion which is going to be the technology which is going to be the major stuff we are going to have 33 percentage over there so if you do simple math it will come close to 21.45 so what we can expect is somewhat around 21 to 22 questions in this area in the technology area we can expect 21 to 22 questions over there right and then what you can do it's like in the last portion billing and pricing it is going to be 16 percentage which will come close to around 10.4 so we can expect around 10 to 11 questions in the fourth area right so if you can uh, consolidate this these things up uh, it will be more or higher but the number of questions will be same it will come close to 65 actually so this is how uh, the exam is going to be designed and this is how the number of questions it is going to come so our major focus areas it is like we need to focus upon first three <laughs> but again it is uh, just telling it for fun we need to focus on all these areas so this is the number of questions which we can expect on all these different domains so uh, as the plan we need to uh, focus on each and every domain uh, very consciously we need to understand it so this is the breakup of individual domains there so it is like uh, so what is cloud concept what are all the things which are expected in cloud concepts so again uh, there are something it's like uh, defining aws cloud and its value proposition which means we need to understand aws cloud in a better way so we need to understand what aws cloud is as i already mentioned the comparison between azure gcp uh, so where aws stands and all these things identify aspects of aws cloud economics 
identify the aspects of aws cloud economics which means you need to understand how the aws buildings works and it is like you need to understand the cap capex opex kind of stuff what are all the advantages of using cloud all these things list different cloud architecture design principles this this comes it's like ias pass saas and different types of architectural principles are getting involved so we will we will deep dive into all this area security and compliance it's like uh, we we saw that right again it is dealing about shared responsibility model we we already talked about that aws cloud security and compliance concepts it's like uh, how we are securing the our aws cloud using various different aws services and then aws access management using iam you need to know about the aws iam identify the resources for security support so these are all the things which we need to know in terms of security and compliance technology this this covers the major part of the exam almost around 33% methods of deploying and operating in aws cloud it's a very generic term deploying and operating on aws cloud is very very generic term so we need to understand various deployment methods and how the aws cloud operates and all aws global infrastructure we need to understand about uh, aws regions and aws availability zones and all these things identify the core aws services again the core aws services there are lot of core aws services to understand and so and then identify the resources for technology support so what are all the various step, uh, support plans which are available with aws we need to understand that right and then pricing and billing it is like we need to compare and contrast various pricing models in aws we need to know about the different pricing models in aws and various account structures in relation to aws billing and pricing so there are there are something it's like in aws organizations we will be having some consolidated billing and lot of things over there and then the identify the resources for the billing support so it's similar to identify resources for technology support we need to identify the resources for the billing support so these are all the various domains and these are all the various coverage i i am trying to put in the videos uh, so that we can go through each and every domain in a very very detailed way and we can understand each and everything so that it is beneficial for people who are trying to learn for the exam and comfortably sit and pass the exam so this is uh, this is what it is all about and uh, just i am taking you through this same thing it is like if you can refer here it is this is the exam guide i had put in uh, whatever which is required i had taken all these things from there and i put it as a part of the slide so we discussed about all these things and then recommended aws knowledge multiple choice multiple response this extensively i had covered about this scoring method in a different video i would recommend you to watch that video and then it's about all about all these things domains and all these things which we had discussed so far so uh, this we covered the entire uh, entire part of this uh, exam guide uh, so this is this is an introduction so this is an uh, slighter introduction on what is expected on the exam what are all the things over there so what are all the technical things which are covered as the part of the aws certified cloud practitioner exam i hope this video is informative for you please uh, share and subscribe and uh, if you are uh, if you are feeling something bad please feel free to write the comments on the video so i will improve my contents as well thanks a lot for watching thank you very much